apparently last time I actually uh, lost footage of my recording um, and that's quite unfortunate I lost about an hour of gameplay so you guys weren't able to see that I was only able to keep the first 18 minutes of the video so I've already uploaded that um, but right now the rest of the video I don't know how to retrieve it again and it's completely gone I don't know how it happened um, so yeah uh, but we ended off with um, finishing at rank 12 which is it's not that great but for my own personal achievement I think it's uh, pretty good um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about this, uh, but that's because we got late start, so that's why we were only able to get to um, rank 12 at most. Um, but you know, the season just began, so this time we have an early start and hopefully we can get higher than this. So. Yep, we have a good 30 days, an entire month, to see how good we can get through this. And uh, we also start off at rank 20, which is... That's okay, I mean... Alright. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna re-roll a quest here. Uh, doesn't matter, alright. So... Let's get a start off at ranked... Okay, I'm gonna begin with uh, playing Zoo, and I'll see how this goes. Alright, so we're going up against the Shaman. Um, last season we were going up uh, with our uh, ma mage deck, um, our mech mage. So, that went alright. That actually went pretty well, I think. Um, I don't think we ran into too many problems. Um, so I think I'll start using Mage at around 15, at rank 15, uh, but for now I think I'll rely more on, let's see, um, I'll rely more on Zoo, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I'm just going to give him the uh, Flame Imp, because... I'm taking damage, so when he trades off, I'm gonna gain the points anyway, but that's pretty interesting of what he did there. Um, let's see how we can do this. Uh, I'll go with the Neurotron. If he wants to take him to place, we'll let him do it. Did you bring some I mean, fish? I'm surprised he didn't trade. I would expect him to trade off, but I guess it's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna actually play the Direwolf Alpha. I think this will be a good move. I'll take off this because I don't want him to draw any more cards. Um, Right now I'm going to focus on trading, I'm not going to focus on taking out his uh, life. So I'm going to get rid of that so I can have to deal with it because a Shaman deck can definitely use cards like uh, Lightning Storm. Um, basically they can clear the board pretty quickly and it's going to be pretty annoying to deal with so we might as well trade. Um, because if they have so many spells to just get rid of our minions, uh, what happens is we're just gonna lose our minions and he's just gonna retain all his strong minions that he's built out throughout the game and uh, he's just gonna attack us in the face. It's gonna be bad. Um, that's interesting that he didn't attack into my uh, Direwolf Alpha, but I suppose I see where he's going here. Um, what I could do is, I will... Now what's unfortunate is I can't get rid of this, the Flame Tongue Totem. So I'm gonna have to get rid of it right here. And there is a possibility that he might have another one in the hand. But I don't think it's anything to worry about. Actually, I think I'll Life Tap first. 
Let's see what we get. We got the end of Argus. Not bad. Why I'll go for Void, void Walker and Metanome. And I'll attack him in the face. And I think that's okay. Alright, so he has uh, four cards in the hand, and now he's playing out his Sludge Belcher. Which, uh, for his past experiences, are uh, very, very um, annoying card to deal with. So, let's see what we can do here. Perhaps. Perhaps the how overwhelming. And uh, I'll trade that. He, we're playing against Shaman. He he doesn't have Mortal Coil. What was I thinking? I doubt he's just gonna hit us in the face. I think. Simplistic of a move. Um, I think that was a dumb idea to play the Welling Zapper Knight because I could easily just trade that off. And, um, hey, give me that. Yeah, it's just not a smart move for him. Ah! Um, he has zombie chow, so I'm gonna life tap, and I'll just gain the life anyway. Another thing I could do is I could play a normal bomb, and I'll get rid of that so that he doesn't draw any cards. I don't want to give him any benefits. The so, yeah. And I'm not going to play Ar Abusive Sergeant because um, I don't want to overcommit just in case that Lightning Storm. Of course, I do have Nerubian Nerub on the field, so you might not want to play that just yet. I wonder. Though, given I'm playing a Zoo deck, here's assuming that the Nerubian is going to be my strongest minion aside from doom guard so he might hex it to prevent it from coming here i don't know if you guys could hear that in the background it's just the uh, people racing outside um so ignore that yeah there we go it disappeared um yeah he could easily hex it or he could use cards like crackle Lightning Storm, Earth Shock, Frost Shock. Lots of cards to get through my uh, defense. And he's also at 7 mana, which is a little difficult to handle. Looks like he's ran out of time. He probably couldn't decide. I'm going to play Iron Big Owl, take this opportunity to silence that. Uh, I'm actually going to Life Tap, see what I get. Probably, well, I should have life tapped first, but, you know, given that I didn't really have much high mana minions other than Defender of Argus and Doom Guard, it's okay. So, Haunted Creeper right here, and um, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm just gonna go for his face. I don't see anything else being a big worry here. Again, not playing the Abusive Sergeant. Because I don't want to overcommit here, but it seems like I already have, and I'm going to pay the price for it. Two Divine Shields are gone, but they still stay, those two minions. Haunted Creeper and Ruby and Egg both have uh, their own death rattle effects. He might have a second Lightning Storm. 
is obviously not going to be good, but we'll see how this goes. Um, I am happy to play Defend of Argus. He's probably not expecting it. Um, we'll life tap first. Always life tap. Um, Implosion is a good card, but you know what else I'm playing in this deck? I'm actually playing... Um, My shield the Knife Juggler, Argus. so... I doubt we can do much. Alright, I'm gonna trade off with that. And, um. I fight. I'll just go for his face. Let's see. So, he still has yet to play his, uh, second Lightning Storm. He has two hexes left. So, he could easily just target my Nerubian and get rid of it. Uh, Flame Tongue Totem. We got rid of the first one, so this is his second one. Let's see what else is there. Now he's trading off the Rubian, so that's cool. And he gained 5 health, which is not bad. And he plays his own Haunted Creep. As well as a Taunt. Well, we have Implosion. Excellent. Perfect hit. I'm gonna hit him there. Gonna go with uh, Flaming. And go for his face. At this point, I don't want a life tap because I, I don't really need to anyway. Like, I have enough health to uh, sustain this, but you know, there is a possibility that he might have something that might spawn a bunch of uh, minions and he can use the bloodlust just like he did, but it seems like he's given up hope, so. Oops. Just gonna finish him off right here. It's a little difficult to control the mouse here. Is that enough? I fight. That no, doesn't look like it. Just gonna get a little bit more and finish him off. There we go. All right, this is a good start. Okay, we have another rare, our uh, Nursing Celestial Nero. So, we haven't gotten any uh, double rares yet, or any triple rares, so 